Hey beautiful people, it's Rakina back with another video. So on this video, I want to talk to you guys about some credit cards that will not ask for income verification when you apply for them. So I've been seeing comments from people of asking about um, them having to do verification. And I want to show you a few credit card companies that will not ask for verification. Now it's going to be different for each person. Keep that in mind. But I personally apply for some of these credit cards. And then I also know of other people that apply for them and they never ask for any verification. They usually just approve you for the credit card and send it right on out to you. So let me show you those different credit cards. Now, if this is your first time watching my video, make sure you guys check out my website, Rakita.com. This is where I see all of my different credit cards, all different credit cards I talk about. You can see everything here. I even give you guys some free dispute letters if you click here and fill out this form, you'll get free dispute letters to start removing those negative accounts from your credit reports. Plus, I have dispute letter packages here if you got student loans, collections, charge off bankruptcies, or late payments. And I have my membership also where we meet up twice a month. So definitely check that out. Now, here's the list of credit cards. When you come to the website, all you have to do is just scroll down and you'll see the list of credit cards. Now, a lot of these credit cards you'll see in multiple places within here. So I want to go over a few of them with you. Now it's way more than five credit cards, but I didn't want to put 20 credit cards, <laughs> you know? So let me talk to you guys about some of these credit cards. I'm going to go right down the list. We're going to start with bad credit first, and then we're going to go into rewards. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now, again, it's different for everybody. Sometimes they may ask for verifications for certain people. Sometimes they may not ask for verification. They may just send you the credit card. So if you're building credit, this is the list for you. So self, so they're not going to ask for proof of income at all. Um, credit builder card is not going to ask for verification of income. Kickoff is not going to ask for verification of income. They probably ask for verification of you in general, verify your identity, but not income. Discover, discover do not ask for proof. Like when I apply for my discover card, any discover card, this is a secure one, but any discover cards, um, they should not ask for a verification of income unless there's something with your credit file that they need to request it. But when I apply, I did not have to um, give them any proof of income. So it don't matter which Discover card you have. Definitely, um, you shouldn't have any problem. But if they ask for proof of income, they should ask for that right away. Sometimes they need, probably need to verify your identity, but not income. So that was one of the major ones I wanted to talk to you guys about. Tumo is going to want verification of income because they're going to pull your bank account. So they're not going to count. Um, Navy Federal. Navy Federal shouldn't ask for proof of income. They asked me for proof of income when I apply for um, a car. When I apply for a car loan, they asked for my proof of income. But when I applied for my credit cards, I didn't have to uh, provide any proof of income when I apply for just my credit cards. Petal One Visa, I believe they're going to look at your banking history, so they technically want your income. Capital One. Capital One, um, sometimes they want to verify your identity. Sometimes they're going to ask for proof of um, income, but a lot of times they're not. They should just approve you right away. And this is for all of the Capital One um, credit cards. So, you know, you usually plug in your information, tell them what you make and all that good stuff. Um, but you shouldn't have to do any verification on that information, okay? So definitely check out Capital One. That was another major one I want to show you. Open Sky should not ask for proof of um, income at all. Discover, we said no for that. Credit One Bank is going to ask for proof of income. I've seen that happen a lot. Um, a lot of times they want to have proof of income or proof of identity. Um, so sometimes they may ask for it, sometimes they won't, but a lot of times they're going to ask for that proof of income, Okay. Mission Lane, um, they shouldn't really ask for proof of income. Credit Strong, they shouldn't ask for it. Prosper, I've seen Prosper a lot of times ask for proof of income. They say once you verify your income, then they'll give you whatever they pre-qualified you for. So keep in mind that of that, that they probably was going to ask for proof of income. So steer away from um, this company. Try to pre-qualify, see if they can give it to you and if they ask for proof of income, then you automatically know Then you know, if you can't provide the documents that you need, then that ain't it for you. Milestone shouldn't ask. Indigo shouldn't ask. But these are bad cards because they have high interest rates. Okay. Destiny. These last ones I just called off. Now let's go back to the list and let's look at some credit cards, some rewards credit cards. This is like the juicy list. This is the list I like. 
So Discover, we already talked about Discover. Discover is not going to ask for proof of income. Um, Chase, when I apply for my Chase, my Chase credit cards, I have to verify my identity, but I did not have to provide any type of proof of income. They just approved me. So keep that in mind. Sometimes they may ask for it. Sometimes they may not, but I did not have to um, provide it. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, Amazon, when I applied for my Amazon card, I did not have to um, provide any proof of income at all. So hopefully you wouldn't have to either. Capital One, again, remember we talked about the Capital One for the bad credit, um, that secure one, but all Capital Ones, you shouldn't really have to provide proof of income unless there's just something going on with your file. Now, I don't have a um, city card, but I haven't heard of people having to provide it. Some people did say they had to, but it's like not a normal thing, but double check with them. I don't know for sure. I don't want to even say yes or no for them, okay? Again, city again. With my American Express card, I did not have to provide proof of income. I just got approved. I pre-qualified for it. I wanted it. And I was like, okay, give it to me. So um, definitely try to see if you can get it. I did not have to provide any proof of income for my American Express. U.S. Bank. Um, I really don't know about U.S. Bank. I had a U.S. Bank card before you guys. Um, I mean, I had a secure U.S. Bank card when I was like, 19 and I'm 31 right now. <laughs> and I, I, um, I tried getting them years ago and I just, every since they denied me, even though I paid off that one to get another one years ago. And I just haven't been messed with us bank since I just, I don't know. I just can't, I already, I like the other cards I have and there's other cards I would rather get than to be fighting with us bank. So I honestly don't know if they're going to ask for proof of income discover. We talked about them us bank again, Tumo, we said they are going to ask. Petal, we said they're going to ask. Discover, we said they're going to ask. So you can see it's different cards on the list, but some of these cards repeat themselves because this is the best one for rewards. Now, let's talk about those people that like to travel. Let's go ahead and look at this list and look at some of these travel cards and see which ones are going to ask. So Discover Travel Credit Card, we already talked about them not asking for Proof of income, discover cash back. They didn't ask, discover student, student again, discover. So all those are good for travel because you guys get cash back on them. Um, Bank of America, um, Bank of America, they should not request. Um, they may not request it, but sometimes they will. So keep that in mind with the Bank of America. Wells Fargo, um, I don't know, maybe because I have a council Wells Fargo too. When I got my Wills Fargo card, didn't have to provide proof of income, you know, but I don't know, you guys. I have accounts with them, but I didn't have to provide it, but then they already have access. So, yeah, that's my thing about Wells Fargo. But you can pre qualify for the Wells Fargo credit card. So, that's a good thing, too, you guys. So, if you're interested in it, pre qualify for it. Um, and I love my Wells Fargo card. And then I had got the 0% APR with it, which was really amazing, too. Um, and they proved me for a high limit, so definitely check them out. Chase, like I said, for my Chase credit card, I did not have to provide proof of income. So, you know, do as you please. Capital One, you shouldn't have to provide it. U.S. Bank, I told you I really don't know about them. Capital One again. So let's go ahead and look at another list. Let's look at it for students because I've seen somebody say, if you're a college student, how are you going to have proof of income? Like what income do you have? College students work. They Some of them work, okay? Some of them have income. And then in the fine print, they say if any income that you're getting on a regular. So if your parents are sending you a certain amount every month or something like that, you could technically use that as income, okay? But checks, we talked about them. Discover, we talked about them. Capital One, we talked about them. They all are not going to ask for that income verification journey. They shouldn't ask for income verification because they were Capital One, Bank of America, it's here or there. You really don't know. Deserve, I think they don't even really have that card anymore. Pedal One, they're going to ask for income. Pedal Two, I think with the Pedal Two, they don't ask, but the Pedal One, I believe they do. So keep that in mind. Double check on that, though, you guys. Um, discover. They shouldn't ask two mode. They're going to ask. And those are a lot of different credit cards, you guys. I think that you guys should be able to take those and run with it. So more of the story is this. If you guys 
looking to discover, they should not ask for verification. Chase should not ask for verification. American Express should not ask for verification. Capital One shouldn't ask for verification. And those are really good cards. Amazon, technically with Chase, they should not ask for um, verification. Wells Fargo, I don't know if they're going to ask, but I don't think they will ask for verification. Um, so keep that in mind with that Wells Fargo card. So let me know if you guys get approved for any of these cards or let me know if you guys apply for one of them. They did ask for verification. OK. And if you guys have any questions and maybe you want to talk to me personally, then definitely check out the top of my website, Rakita.com. Click right here and schedule a call with me. I'll be happy to help you guys talk to you guys and see exactly how I can help. I'll see you guys in the next video.